Welcome to Daz Geek. So I just wanted to do a really quick video to save you some time. I was walking through this tutorial that Ubuntu.com has about setting up a Kubernetes cluster with the Raspberry Pi. So I was following along and at some point they tell you to use the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm in Fedora, but I went ahead and downloaded the Raspberry Pi imager, no big deal. And then it goes into setting up Wi-Fi, and it tells you to go into the network config file with the SD card that you're going to flash for the Raspberry Pis to create this cluster of Raspberry Pis. I'm going to have three in here, but you could have as many as you want here. And so each image I'm flashing onto a micro SD card, then I'm putting into the Raspberry Pi. And what I would do basically once it's flashed is I would go into this network config file and then change that and then put these settings in here. But I realized this is kind of outdated and takes way too much time. So what I'm going to show you next is how you can use the Raspberry Pi imager to actually set up your Wi-Fi and set up SSH all through the GUI itself. And the main purpose of this is you need to check out the Raspberry Pi imager and use all of the cool tools within it. And hopefully this document gets updated too because people need to go through all of this to get it set up which makes this even funner and cooler process. So now I'm gonna switch the screen to show you how you can use the Raspberry Pi imager to get your Wi-Fi and your SSH stuff set up and some other more advanced options. Okay, so once you have the Raspberry Pi imager installed on the left-hand side is how you install it in Fedora. You're gonna choose your operating system. I'm using the Ubuntu server edition here. Those are the instructions that I'm following, the 64-bit edition to write it to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm using the other image. I'm choosing the micro SD card that I have set up. And then I'm clicking that cog wheel. That's where the cog wheels where all the advanced options are. So you can set your host name, you can enable SSH, and you can set up your Wi-Fi password and information. You can also set up your username and password here as well. So your SID, your SSID is, if you have a router and you probably have some clever name like my dungeon network or Wi-Fi, that's where you put that. And then the password for your Wi-Fi and you're set. Once you have all of that information, you can put in any of these other settings you want and click save. So the key is to click that cog wheel at the bottom that I didn't see initially either. And that's going to let you set up all of those various settings and you're going to write this image. And the great thing is it saves those settings. So that every time you're done, you put in another micro SD, it's going to write that network config file and all that information you set up to that next micro SD card, which is perfect for Kubernetes cluster where you're doing two, three, four micro SD cards at a time. And just to show you real quick in the network config file, this is what it looks like once it's set all that stuff up. Of course, you can't see the password and username, but it does it all for you. It's really nice through a GUI. Wasn't that so much easier than going into the network config, which borked my system several times when I did it. I don't know if I had the spacing wrong or something, but for whatever reason, the default Ubuntu username and default Ubuntu password would not work after I changed the network config file. If you know what I did there, all I did was change the network config, what I messed up, let me know in the comments below. But either way, you don't have to worry about that if you just use the Raspberry Pi imager. Also, if you want an easier way to check out a Kubernetes cluster, you could always set it up on the sponsor of the Tux Digital Network, which the DOS Geek channel is about. Check out DigitalOcean. Go to do.co slash tux2022. That's do.co slash tux2022 and check out their amazing service. In fact, they're gonna give you a $100 free credit to check out their service. So you could set up, take some courses and set up an entire Kubernetes cluster and have a $100 credit to play with with that. And you don't have to have all these Raspberry Pis and imaging and all of that stuff there because you could do it all through DigitalOcean and so much more. I wanna thank them for sponsoring this channel. I also wanna thank my amazing patrons Thank you for your continued support out there. I hope you all are enjoying the patron-only security podcast out there. We're weekly, every other week, so we go in and I talk about the latest security privacy news out there and just the short, sweet podcast to thank the amazing patrons for all their continued support. I hope you like this short video, and until next time, get out there and fill your brains.